<laughs> oh my goodness. Small just a little bit. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Make sure you subscribe down there and leave me a comment if you like the video when we get into it. Today is something a little bit different. So <laughs> we have a guest. I made a seafood boil, okay? Look at this shit, okay? So we got some, you know, some corn on the cob, potatoes, eggs, we got a lobster tail, we have some king prawns, we have some crab claws. You can't see crab claws, okay? So I have never had a seafood boil before, but you know when you get into watching YouTube and like you watch too much YouTube and you're just like, I need to eat what they're eating. And I'm not gonna lie, like I kind of am a fan of the mukbang YouTubers. Sometimes it's kind of relaxing to watch. I just thought I'm gonna make a seafood boil. So here we are, I've made a seafood boil. I'm super excited to eat it. And so I thought, why don't I come on here and do a little story time with you all whilst I eat it. If you want a recipe for this, I guess I can film a recipe. It was super easy actually. And I got all my fish from my local fishmonger at the market, even though everything that's going on, my market is still open. So went there, my man had all the goods. Boom. I'm so excited and I don't want it to go cold, so I'm gonna start. But today, oh my God, there's gonna be a lot of. This is why I can never take me in under on a date, you know, because I'd be sitting across the table from you eating my corn, like. There's no elegant way to eat corn. You know what I hate? I hate those mukbangers. Like after every bite, they're like, mmm, mmm. Stop. Why? Why are you doing that? That's some good shit. I thought I would come today and talk to you all about some tragic boy stories that I have had. And there's been quite a lot. <laughs> I just mean stories where like I've been fucked over like a boy was just he just did some bad shit to me my friends always laugh at me because they say where's that prawn just gone like, I have so many stories with boys and it's correct I do I've been fucked over fucking way too many times I'm a nice person I don't know why this happens to me oh my god I'm so uh-uh I like seafood but babes your fucking brains just came out everywhere I don't really, I didn't write any notes for this and I really should have done, but I just got excited and like made my food and then I was like, shit, I have to film because it's going to go cold. So, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to start off, yeah, I'm going to start off, I can think of a story off the top of my head. Mmm. I've not had seafood in ages, like, I'm kind of like. 80 70 80 percent plant-based i tried to do vegan life um so i haven't had seafood in ages but here i am don't judge me this shit's good wow not gonna lie i'm an amazing chef let's think about a time when a boy fucked me over where do we begin i feel so bad for mr prawn over here what the fuck is that let's start off with this one story so I can't remember how old I was. I think I was about, I was probably like 18, maybe 19, maybe 19. Um, I was definitely in uni. I think I was in second year. I don't fucking know. Does it matter? No. I was talking to this guy. He lived in London. I'm obviously from up north, right? Cool. I was talking to this guy and I really liked him and like it was quite intense, like quite soon. I, like I was so young and fucking naive. Wow, what the hell was I thinking? I had been heartbroken before and I feel like that just really damaged me when it came to like other guys at that age because I was just seeking so much validation from men. But anyway, that's the story for another time. This is supposed to be funny, not fucking emotional. Do you have any poop in you? We really liked each other. Well, I thought he really liked me. Like he was hella full on like, Full, full, full on. I have some butter down here and a lemon right here. Oh my God, this is about to, oh, I feel like, literally, I feel like when I was fucking mukbangers, B loves life, who are you? You know what I mean? That shit's fucking good. Wow! Okay, 
Oh, damn. I'm gonna put lemon on my potato. I don't give a fuck. Basically, we decided, cool, we're gonna meet up. So, <laughs> we decided we were gonna meet up. I got the train from Preston all the way down to London. He booked a hotel. Um, just told me to meet him there, blah, blah, blah. I get there. We're having a great time. We're talking. We're, you know, getting to know each other, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Well, obviously, we were going to stay the night there. Tell me fucking why. Also, I've never cracked one of these open. I have no clue how to open this. Hmm. I'm going to go get um, a fork and a knife and a chopping board. Okay, goodbye. We're in this hotel room, having a great time, you know. Anyway, right. N next thing I know, it's like night time, right? And he's like, <laughs> he went to the bathroom and then I realised he'd been in the bathroom for ages. Like, really, really long time. And like, I was about to put that in my mouth, but you'll all cost me if I put a fucking knife in my mouth. Anyway, the tap was running. Like, he was obviously, I could hear him talking to someone, yeah? But the tap was running in the bathroom. or oh, secret, secret. You know what I mean? Cool. <laughs> so, like, I goes up to the door. I'm trying to listen. Like, I'm trying to think, hold on. What the hell is going on here? I know crab tastes nice, but fucking hell, this is, like, the fiddliest thing ever. And he's, like, raising his voice at some parts. So I can just hear him in the bathroom. Cool. Goes up to the door. Trying to, like, you know, you're, like... You know, with the cup, and you're like, could not hear. Like, I, I could hear him saying, like, babe, babe. Like, I'm thinking, what is going on? What is going on right here? Because he'd been in there. When I deeped it, he'd been in there, like, a good, like, 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm thinking, hold on. This is it, right? He comes out now. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, oh, I need to go. My mum was gonna leave me in this hotel room on my own, yeah, when the whole fucking reason I came down was to see you. I was like, why? Why do you need to, in bearing in mind, it was like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. I was like, pardon? He's like, my mum needs me. <laughs> no, it cracks me up when I start thinking about it. He said, my mum needs me to get something out of the attic. Your mum needs you to get something out of the attic at nine o'clock on a fucking Wednesday evening or whatever the fuck it was. I was just sat there like, right, um, okay. Anyway, next thing you know, he's getting a phone call. So he sat like across the room and he answers the phone call, yeah. <laughs> he answers the phone call and he's like talking, he's obviously talking to like a boy's friend. And I'm, I'm just like watching him, watching him, trying to think what the hell is going on here. And then he's like, yeah, I can hear him, he's like, yeah no you need to tell her i'm with you you need to tell her i'm with you yeah just just tell her yeah you just need to tell her i'm with you and then blah, blah, blah. i was like next thing you know yeah he's like he's, he's he's obviously switched the call he's like babe babe i'm with i'm just gonna make up a name i'm not gonna say real name he's like babe i'm with jordan i'm with jordan tell her jordan tell her i don't even know if they're on some fucking freeway call or something he's like tell her jordan tell her i'm with you i was like it started dawning up on me yeah while I'm sat across the room, start dawning on me. This guy fully has a girlfriend. I'm sat up in hotel room like I am some fucking escort, yeah? After this guy's telling me how much he likes me, how much he appreciates me, that like he's never spoken to anyone, though he's spoken to me and me, 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 me. I was baffled. As soon as he gets off the phone, he's like, I'm going, like, I know you will never want to talk to me again. I don't blame you, like, blah, blah, blah. I was just sat there, like, the audacity of this guy, you know. I was like, this man fully had it out of his girlfriend in front of me, cheating in broad daylight. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe the cheek of the man. Yeah? Cool. And then, so he's like, he like leaves. He's like, I know you'll never want to talk to me again, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fucking no shit, Sherlock. And so then he leaves. And for some reason, I, I feel like he came back. He came back like 20 minutes later. I can't fucking remember. Anyway, he goes again. I'm on my own. So I just fully got left in this hotel room on my own. I got fucked and chopped. <sighs> the audacity. And then, imagine this, right? We ain't have contact for, this was years ago. This is probably like 2015 or something. 
New Year's Eve, or was it Christmas? Christmas Day 2019. Christmas just gone, yeah? I get a message on Instagram. A requested message on Instagram. And it said, Merry... <laughs> I need to find it, I need to find it. It said, Last Merry Christmas. And the thing about me is, yeah, I don't just ignore people, I'm an, I'm an idiot. I like to human, like, I like to just know what the hell's going through your head. I messaged him back saying, you were the last person I expected to hear from, but Merry Christmas to you too. And then he put, I can never forget about you. It would be silly not to. <laughs> Bro, my man's still in his feelings after you, like, ooh, ooh, This is what pisses me off, yeah? These men never change, yeah? These men ain't never gonna change. Oh my god, I've got a good one. I've just thought of another good one. But this one's okay because me and this guy are like good friends still now. Like we're good on talking terms. So this guy, <laughs> I have so many stories about this guy. <gasps> okay. Back, back, back in the day. I've seen this one guy for quite a long time. Like probably like a year. And we was like a friends with benefits situation. Um, I think I've spoken about this on my channel before. Like quite a while ago when I talked about friends with benefits. There was so many situations with this guy, yeah? But it was because I was a fucking stupid, naive, little girl. I don't know, like I just, I let my feelings get away with me, do you know what I mean? When I shouldn't have done. Because at the end of the day, it was what it was, which was sex. If someone tells you they just want sex, they just want sex, babe. You ain't never gonna change your mind. Did I just cut myself? I think next time I'm gonna need some real tools. I'm gonna stick to what I know, which is prawns. So early on when we started seeing each other, we probably started seeing each other in like end of September, yeah. And this is ages ago by the way. And we would see each other like every week, like but I was just so dumb, mate. I just I just didn't know what it was, and it was obviously just I really liked him, he was super attractive. We got on so well. Still do get on really well. Anyway, Halloween came, right? <laughs> Halloween came. It was Halloween night. We was all going out. I remember anyway, I remember I went to pre-drinks and I remember being at pre-drinks and this girl was there um, that we kind of like knew, didn't really know that well, but she had said to me, are you seeing blah blah blah? I was like, um, yeah. Um, she was like, oh, he used to go out with XYZ talking about this different girl. Anyway, and that ended up being a whole other story in itself, which maybe I'll tell. I've already told it once, but <laughs> maybe I'll tell it again. We go to the club. I see him at the club with his friend. Cool, we're in. <laughs> we're in. Oh, I still laugh about this to this day, but it was not funny at the time. We're in, if you're from Preston, we was in Cameo or Squires, whatever you want to call it, right? It's not even called Cameo anymore. What's it called now? Switch. In the little R&B room in Switch. In the it's like a real small room. And there was a loads of people in there because it's Halloween, right? I see him from across the room and with all my girls. I see him from across the room, right? Imagine, yeah? This guy does not come up to me. This guy does not say hi to me. He like... Prawn, oh my, oh my god, prawn juice was swelling in my eye. <laughs> this guy, yeah, he fully clocks me, yeah. I know he fully clocks me. And he just, nothing. Doesn't come over, doesn't say hi. Crickets, you know? Crickets, right? The room was crowded, yeah. Tell me why he suddenly starts trying to dance like with one of the girls I was with. And the girl that said to me, oh, he used to date, blah, blah. She knew who he was. She knew I was dating him, yeah? He goes up to her and he's like trying to, and I was like. I was watching this unfold before my eyes. I was like, what did I do to get this disrespect? What did I do, yeah? I've been disrespected so many times. So I was like, anyway, she didn't even, they, they it, it broke up like, it wasn't a full on dance, so I was like, hmm. Anyway, <laughs> my friend was like, my friend was egging me on. She was like, you need to go and talk to him and check him and like, blah, 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 blah. I think it might have been Evie, you know, she's a fucking bad influence. I can see him at the bar, right? 
with his friend. His friend just keeps turning around like this, and I'm like, they're both whispering. He's not turning around because he knows. He knows I'm looking at him. He knows I'm staring at him. He knows I'm about to cuss him the fuck out. So <laughs> I was like, fuck this shit. Plus I was like kind of drunk as well. So I go over. And I'm like, hi. Hi. He's like, hi. His friend was not even trying to leave. His friend was trying, I was like, excuse me, can I just have, like, have a word with him? Can I just have a moment? And his friend like reluctantly walked off. And the guy that I'm talking about, I don't know, what should we call him? Let's call him Peter. Peter's like, hi. I was like, oh, so you're not going to say hi to me? You're not going to? He was like, um, I can't remember what it was he said. Oh my God, I can't remember what he said. He basically shut me down and he was like, you're with your, oh my God, I remember now. He's like, you're with your friends. He's like, you're with your friends. I'm with my friends. I was like, so you ain't even gonna come over to me or nothing, like try and talk to me, dance, no, no. He's like, yeah, you're with your girls. Like, you just have a good night. Like, cut the convo off, you know. My mum was trying to pull. My mum was trying to pull and I was cock blocking him. What? We had a massive argument that night. And I think I was just confused because I thought like me and him like liked each other and we would see each other like that. No, 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 baby. No, baby. He was, he was trying to get with the girls. <laughs> Do not commit yourself to someone that doesn't, that isn't committing to you. They never asked for it. You know, we can't, we as women, like we're just so loving, but we can't like be going and putting all our eggs in one basket when they haven't even told us to put their eggs in a the basket. They haven't even told us they like eggs. I'm a mess, look at me. Oh my God, I didn't even do a thumbnail. Anyway, and then I realized, okay, cool, me and you are never gonna date, date, or like be boyfriend and girlfriend, but we continue sleeping with each other. I continued to sleep with him even after that. Am I stupid? The sex was just too good. But he's grown up a lot now, and I've grown up a lot now, and you know, we can be good, we can be friends. Also with that guy. <laughs> told this story before i don't know if to tell it again but basically with that guy basically after me and this guy that like, ended i was in the club one night right and all of a sudden i just see this girl staring at me right? and i knew this was his ex like before me and she's just staring at me staring 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 at me and i just ignored it i could see her staring but i just thought she's probably just staring because she knows that like i was seeing him or whatever work travels fast in Preston. I thought nothing of it and then the next weekend the weekend after i was out again in a different place and she was there again and she was staring at me from across the bar this time there was some shouting happening and i'm like what so i could she's like staring <laughs> she's like staring at me and like shouting at me like, oh, like shouting at me but it was so loud in there like she was with her friend and i was with my friends and i was like hold on girls is she fucking shouting at me and i was i just thought right i'm not getting involved i'm not a very confrontational person at all right so i'm not getting involved bearing in mind this is the same girl that my the guy i was seeing he was like yeah she's kind of crazy but never trust yeah when a guy calls a girl crazy because what did you do hmm? what did you do to turn her crazy hmm? next thing i know i'm going to the toilet with my girls <laughs> with my girls when i'm going to the toilet Cause where we were there's like a hallway to get to the toilets right so you come out of like the dance floory bar bit into like a hallway and then the toilets are in there. So I came into there, right, and she stood. <laughs> she just stood in the hallway. There's like quite a lot of people in the hallway. She stood in the hallway with her friend. So I just walked past, didn't do anything. As I am approaching the toilet, yeah, as I'm approaching the door, all I hear from behind me is, that's the girl that sucked my man's dick. Sweet, I know you ain't fucking talking about me. I turned around and I was like, hold on. <laughs> I walked over to this girl and I was like, what? I was baffled. Oh my God, my nail is chipping. I was baffled. I was like, what? And she goes, again, what are we gonna call him? Peter, is that the same one? I see, she's like, do you know Peter? I'm like, yeah, I know Peter. She's like, have you had sex with him? I was like, Babe, I've been having sex with him for a year, every week. I've been running his dick for a year, every week. On the dot, every every Thursday. And, <laughs> and she's like, she was just bare confused. She was like, I've been seeing him, like that, that was my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. Telling me all this stuff. I was just like, 
like at first she wanted to fight me like she dead ass wanted to fight me but i was like babe i have no clue that you was seeing him like i thought i was like you're his ex and she's like well me and him have been seeing each other blah blah, blah. anyway turns out yeah i will never fully know the full story you know because i feel like he was seeing her whilst we were seeing each other but again me and him were just friends with benefits yeah we weren't you know it was a bit a bit of a fucking complicated one yeah this girl was just going off and then we ended up in the fucking toilet cubicles talking about everything and him telling apparently he had told her that i <laughs> me and him weren't a thing and this that and the other and it was just a fucking mess and she was just telling me all this stuff so it sounds mad me even saying me and him are friends now but now it's like a mutual agreement like look i know you're trash but we can be friends because at the end of the day we do appreciate each other's company but <laughs> yeah <laughs> good fucking times but yeah we ended up like taking a picture together and sending it to him and he was just baffled and <laughs> i remember we thought we were such bad bitches like taking this picture in the toilet together and sending it to him and he probably didn't even give a fuck there was definitely some overlap when me and him had stopped seeing each other i think he was having sex with her and so she was a little bit mad she was a little bit pressed there's no beef there now it's all good and then let me think of one more okay i'll tell this one story but it's actually not even that funny you know <laughs> it's actually not funny it still hurts it still hurts <sighs> do i have a funnier one than this because this one's actually gonna hurt me <laughs> I'll tell this story because I can't think of another one, but it's actually fucking emotional. Um, cool. <laughs> a while ago, I met this guy and it was a bit mad because we just like clicked so well. We just like really got on. <laughs> I say this about everyone, but I'm dead serious. Like we just got on a different level. Like he's a little bit younger than me. So I was always a bit like, whoa, because when I was like 21, he was like, 19 which does not sound actually he might have just been turning 19 um which does not sound like a lot but when you are that age it really is a lot like my man had just started uni and i just graduated uni do you know what i mean so me and him were talking we really got on like we met up and everything and it was really cute he lived he didn't live near me he lived like a bit away because he went to uni like down south so we were talking we got on really well it was like almost like we were like building up to that kind of relationship place like we really really liked each other but he was quite like emotionally closed off he had been cheated on in the past and like all things like that and i think it kind of made him really scared of relationships um anyway he had a lot of stuff going on in his private life he had a lot of stuff going on with his family that was like really serious so whilst we were talking like and that was happening and he was at uni and everything like that and i just said to him look let's let's not like i don't want to put any pressure on it it's all good like let's not like let's leave it here but like it's okay like i know this isn't probably going to go anywhere right now because i'm focused on my career that was when i was like kind of picking up on youtube and instagram and stuff i was like i'm focused on my career like you've got you need to focus on and everything else that's going on behind closed doors no bad feelings like we can still be friends but like let's stop pursuing this because it was just getting hard like his replies were really long and like he was just going through a lot you know what i mean then we ended up like still talking like as months went on like we still talked quite like quite a bit and yeah whenever i was in london he was always like let me meet you blah 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 i was like let me come meet you like one time he came to meet me and he brought his nephew like his family knew about me because like of certain things like it was just a long story anyway he was always very like emotionally closed off like he just wouldn't open up like i knew he liked me and it was just so obvious that he liked me but he just couldn't like he was just so emotionally damaged which is so sad but at the same time girls it is not our job to to fix these men of course you can try and help someone and you can try and try and try and try and help but even when all that doesn't work you will fucking ruin yourself trying to help someone else at the end of the day the only person that can help them is themselves and you at some point you have to kind of give up and say you know what you gotta figure this out alone because i am losing myself trying to help you trying to you know heal you like give you all of me so this has gone on for months and uh, every time i was in london i would see him and yeah that like, i really liked him like i genuinely thought okay this is not the right time but one day it will be the right time 
Um, like I always thought it was like right person, wrong time, blah, blah, blah. This story is actually tragic, but I feel like it'll help some of you who have like probably been through something similar. I ended up going to New York. So this is like summer 2018. I went to New York with my friend Evie. Oh my God, my battery is flashing. I need to finish this. So I went to New York with my friend Evie. And whilst I was in New York, he actually, we had a phone conversation where he finally opened up and he told me all about all this. We had this conversation one night. We were literally on the phone for like four hours and he really opened up about things that he'd been through in the past. And I thought, oh my God, it's an actual breakthrough. Like he's actually opening up and like maybe we can go somewhere because like he's actually sharing his feelings. It was like, I was, it was so promising that I came back from New York. He was like, whilst I was on the phone, he was like, I'm gonna come up to Preston. I'm gonna drive up there and I'm gonna see you when you're back, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my God, like this could be the start of like the real deal. Do you know what I mean? And then I came back, we was texting as normal. I was back for a few days. He was gonna come up on the Saturday. The Saturday comes. Um, I was at my family's in Yorkshire and I was gonna like come back later on that day. And he texted me. He was like, I'll let you know um, when, like he, he kind of been like MIA that morning. So I was kind of worried, but he was like, look, I'll let you know when, he was like, I'll let you know when I'm setting off, um, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Tell me why I never heard from this guy again. He, he didn't text me, didn't call me. I was texting him, I was calling him. I was like, where are you? Like, I was getting worried like that he had set off and like something bad had happened, that like, he'd been in an accident or something like that because I was calling him and texting him and nothing nothing at all and i was just shook like i was so fucking shook um because i really thought we'd like was getting somewhere and that was so fucking emotional for me because i was really like i really like this guy and he just fucked me over and even now it's like obviously he's a dick because he because he did that to me but it's like i know he did that because he was just he couldn't deal with it emotionally like he i feel honestly feel like he just couldn't deal with the the feelings that he had for me and it's like fun we can't be with people like that we cannot you need someone that loves you out loud do you know what i mean like really out loud and if someone loves you they give that all to you like they want to be like no matter what the circumstances do you know what i mean people make it work bro my guy i do like yeah, I do like feel sorry for him because I don't know. I'm just that kind of person. Like even when someone does me so dirty, I still feel sorry for them. How crazy is that? That happened. And then we just never spoke for months and months and months. We never spoke. And then he ended up adding me on Snapchat or something stupid. And I was like, was this an accident? I was like, what the hell? And he was like, oh, sorry, my phone like I did my phone. I did everyone in my contacts. And I was just like, what? Like my guy didn't even apologize on him and yeah it's weird because we've had that like, conversation since then but it's just all of it is a bit fucking mad anyway that is all we have time for my battery is flashing we're about to beep 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 and it's gonna cut off and i'll be upset so thank you for eating with me thank you for coming for my seafood boil for my funny stories it started off funny stories and then it turned into a bit like sad emotional life advice but here we are if you want me to do more mukbangs let me know because I'm an avid cooker. I love to cook. So maybe I can sit and chat and kiki with some food. That'd be cute. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.